got here at a pretty decent time. We just set up camp. Feels really good to be here for the first time ever. Looks like Google Earth. It's not as steep as I thought it was. It's actually less steep. So usually when you get somewhere you think, oh man, Google Earth lied. It's way steeper. Well, it's the opposite. It's way flatter. It's smoky and hazy from all the wildfires. So visibility, we're gonna go test it out right now. It's just a couple hours before dark. We're we'll gonna do our first little scouting session. We've got a couple places to check out and even a water hole. So it's pretty dry. We're camped kind of at a nice little spot, but it doesn't have shade. So we've kind of made our own, I'll show you. That is Jacob Villa Senior. We got this seek outside teepee thing that's covering our coolers, keep them out of the shade. We're gonna be just sleeping under the stars tonight. Got plenty of water, got a guzzler here. Got a pushed up tank there, got a spring up there. So we're good on water and we got some daylight. So we're gonna go scout. Yeah. The elk tracks all in here. Those look like big elk tracks too. So did they obviously jump the fence right here? It's dry. Somebody's probably hunting cows out of this. We could spruce this up. That's really good. God, it's this really close shot. Gotta have the wind right too. We got a little note. Chris, August 25th, the 28th, September 1st through the 16th, and his phone number. So, We got somebody saying that they're gonna hunt this. It's gonna hunt this on August 25th through September 16th. Hmm. That's uh, that's rough. But I have a ground blind, and this is public land. funnels them off this ridge is what I'm guessing. It was a little later in the year you could just hear them bugling. 
and then you would just literally you don't need a ground bond you can stand right behind it a juniper with the wind in your face but I mean I'm actually want to put a real ground blind up here I wish I brought it tonight I would have set it up just so the elk could start getting used to it but I don't care that someone's hunting right there that's not even it's like we can hunt off of that and still not mess them up so we just checked the water hole Somebody's got a man-made blind on it with a note saying they're gonna hunt the entire season. That is the one water hole that I wanted to hunt. Well, we're gonna go maybe find different water, but I still think we'll probably set a ground blind there. Just backed off the water a little bit, kind of try to figure out, be a detective and figure out really how they're funneling in. We just glassed a burn over here and pulled up a bull and uh, one cow so far. We're gonna just keep covering country tonight. This is our first night out. We got an entire day tomorrow to, to scout, so pretty excited. I just found a bull that I really am interested in, except for his left, his right side is basically broke, but not really. It's just he doesn't grow it. He's probably like Jake said, injured. Maybe he's got a broadhead in him from last year, but. What a beautiful bull. If he was matching on both sides, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Long beams, big six. That's what I'm looking for. So uh, we got three elk spotted so far, and we haven't even really been scouting yet. So tonight's young. Let's go. That's our third elk we've seen. He has everything we're looking for, minus the right side. Looks like he's just growing like a little eight inch club. We think um, he probably got hurt last year and just didn't grow it. He's probably got a broadhead or something or who knows, a bullet lodged into his shoulder, but um, beautiful bull. He's all by himself, all white horn, just oh, great main beans, just a stud elk. I like when elk are by themselves. That makes them a little bit more killable, but I'm gonna bugle at him real quick just because I haven't bugled in like 10 months. Yes. Mm -hmm. 